most of us spend our lives cocooned in the highly mechanical and structural world of the present. We drive through the countryside at 75 miles an hour, surrounded by huge vehicles which could destroy us in an instant. It is easy to assume that things have always been that way, but paddlers know that this is not the case. We are able to move freely from the constantly changing world of superhighways and 18-wheelers to the mostly unchanging world of water trails and canoes. Many of our water trails still appear largely as they have for thousands of years. But our strong and lightweight canoes are quite different than the ones which at one time used our water trails as the superhighways of their day. For hundreds, perhaps thousands of years before first contact in 1492, dugout canoes were the functional equivalent of an 18-wheeler and rivers were the interstate highways. Natives used a variety of craft, but dugout canoes like these still in use in Botswana and Uganda were widely used in North America. And indeed, it could be argued that much of our continent was originally settled by paddlers. Astalon, the amazing archaeological site west of Madison, was likely founded by people in dugouts, which were an important part of the Mississippian culture almost 800 years ago. Throughout its 150-year existence, the residents of Astalon must have made extensive use of dugouts. And since their average life is about 10 years, they must have made and abandoned more than 100 such boats. On my first trip to Astalon, Bob Birmingham told me that no one had ever tried to find any of these boats. Since Bob literally wrote the book on Astalon, a month later, 20 people showed up to take a look. We began the day with a tour led by Bob Birmingham. And uh, so we'll just walk right up to that chaos and we'll, we'll start there and uh, I'll show you a few places, talk about the history of the site. Welcome to Astalon. Uh, you may be uh, interested to learn that uh, this site uh, was established between uh, uh, 1050 and 1100 AD by a group of people from Illinois. Uh, we'd like to joke up here, this is the first group of Illinois tourists that came yeah. up, uh, up to the lake country. This town, and I mean a town, this wasn't a village, it was a town. It was well organized, it was permanent. Uh, it was even subdivided into uh, different uh, permanent uh, activity areas um, and it lasted perhaps about 150 years, maybe less. And then the people of this particular civilization uh, vanished off the face of the upper Midwest forever. Great civilizations of the world. Monumental architecture. Uh, 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 almost standing armies, um, a very complex social structure, a, 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 a um, culture based on uh, a theocracy, uh, very powerful rulers that were nevertheless uh, also religious uh, officials, uh, and formed uh, North, North America's first and only city, Indian city, a place called Cahokia.
of Cahokia uh, covered six square miles, um, had a, uh, a number of different precincts, uh, res uh, well-organized residential areas that sometimes had their even local temples and mounds, um, the, uh, tens of thousands of acres of cornfields surrounding uh, the city uh, with little uh, farmsteads. Uh, to work the fields. Now, the, this is the Crawfish River, of course, you know. And uh, being paddlers, you know that the Crawfish River goes into what river? Rock River. Yeah. And the Rock River goes into? Mississippi. Miss, where? Rock Island. Rock Island. And so you could jump in this river and paddle to Cahokia, the city in which these people came from. So there's a river, there's a direct river connection. So do that, uh, you have to portage a lot around dams and things. And, uh, and, uh, but it, it would be an interesting uh, trip to see how long it would take. Um, and, that's, uh, and they certainly did this routinely, uh, and probably these big dugouts that we're talking about, you know. At one time, the dugouts lined up along the bank near Astalon might have looked like these near a village in the Okavango Delta in Botswana. After our tour, we began a systematic search of the area along the river, upstream and just downstream of Astalon. we were unable to find any evidence of ancient dugouts. But I am convinced that sometime with new technology, possibly ground penetrating radar, we will find one of those old boats. Yeah, pretty good, we didn't turn up any no, artifacts though. Nothing uh, ancient or otherwise, huh? No. Oh well. We ended a wonderful day with an eight-mile paddle on the crawfish into Jefferson. Yeah.